Hold that faith. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that faith. Uh. Never. Never stop. Whoa. You can't stop a man who believes in God. No, no, no. You can't stop. No, no, no. Having faith all the way to the top. Thank you, God, for all that you do. You can't stop a man who. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to CCU Tarot Scorpios. How are y'all doing again? <sighs> I'm having a great evening. How about yourself? Been thinking. I hope you guys enjoyed the soulmate spread. I want to just thank everybody for the love, all the comments that I'm getting. I am loving it. I am loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I call upon all our ancestors and guides to be here with us as we're building, growing, expanding together. Okay. So let's take three deep breaths. Inhale that good ass prana. Exhale when no longer serves you. Inhale that good ass prana. And exhale when no longer serves you. Inhale that good ass prana. And exhale when no longer serves you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Gratitude. Scorpios, gratitude, 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 compassion, love, gratitude is my attitude, positivity, good vibes. <sighs> it's a gloomy day where I'm at, a lot of rain, hurricane season type of stuff, but I feel like the sun anyway. Okay, some of you guys can be dealing with the Aries. Okay. Some of you guys could be a Scorpio that's real independent and fierce and voluptuous and beautiful. Y'all all beautiful though. Straight up. So we got the Hermit. We have the Nine of Wands. And then we have the Sun Reverse. So we have a Virgo here that is in resentment. Alright. They know um, they've, they've learned some things but not happy about it. You know, you've been fighting off the Virgo Earth sign energy and they're really cloudy and in the darkness. They, like I've always been saying, they were like your doppelganger, okay? So you, it's like when earth and water <clears throat> gets too much, it gets muddy. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of mud within the, the sun or a part of the sun that I guess most people don't see unless like you've gotten up close and personal, you know, unless you're Scorpio and you're like, oh, I see, I see, who you, who, who you are. Everybody else probably can't see this person, this earth sign or this Virgo. Pick it up on strong Virgo. But I'm also picking up on Capricorn, okay? I got a softer spot for the Taurus, I don't know about y'all, but definitely muddy. And you see it, okay? You see it for what it is. And this person is uh, condescending and full of themselves. And they probably well with their words, but if you listen hard enough, you catch their patterns, okay? Especially if they're earth sign. You're water, so you're a little bit more fluid. So it's easy for you to catch on, right? Hmm. Once again, to all my new Scorpios, hit that subscribe button. Okay, hit that thumbs up. Let me know if you're vibing. Drop a comment. Check out the new virtual uh, magazine issue today. It's called Raw Magazine. Okay, it's another extension of me. Just really creative. All right. Thank you for all the donations for the last video. Appreciate y'all. And for the other videos, I see you guys going back to other videos, which is really good. I do that too with other readers. Gotta go back to other videos. Ancestors and guys, keep it playing. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you for keeping it playing all this time. Thank you for keeping it playing. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay, so this Virgo could be looking to advance towards you or this earth sign. Pick up a strong earth sign. It could be a fire sign, too. Or have fire placements within them or you. Because, um, you know, I definitely got my uh, Scorpio Saggies around, okay? So definitely want to uh, have some form of companionship, partnership, and like I said, duality. So, and it's with the sun. So like I said, and then we have earth and water. So, you know, it's just having to be more of a balance. If this is a soulmate or twin twin of yours, but there was some karmic experiences that could, could have potentially played out from past life. All right, but they're definitely gonna advance towards you even though they have prospects, but I guess they're realizing their prospects have uh, snakes on it. I don't know. That's not for everybody, okay? They definitely have an intense focus and a desire to fulfill this wish with you, but at the same time, you know, you are aware of them. Um, and they probably tried to do some manipulative things that uh, made it even more muddy to get towards you. And you, I feel like you allowed them and you watched them. And it just showed you more of who they are. Showed you more of who they are. In a way you needed to have seen it. And the universe created experiences that were going to catapult you forward into this whole new rebirth. This new you that is here months to years later. Mm -hmm. This could have definitely been a soulmate or twin of yours or <sighs> you're dealing with both. You could be dealing with a twin and a counterpart. Because it could have definitely been a third party situation as well, but um, there's just something about like, I guess you bringing balance to them because they are the mud and you're the light or they're the darkness and you're the light. Like I said, I get this weird doppel or just yin and yang type vibes. Once again, two of cups, duality. So, but they see you as a prospect. They see you moving forward. They know that they, they know that you know the truth, but they wish fulfillment. Straight up, still knight of, still knight of swords here. This person is real focused. Where they're really deep in thought in their mind. Could be deeply attracted to about like how you look too. Hmm. But yeah, we got nine of cups. If I didn't show the cards, Scorpio. We have two of swords and six of swords in reverse. You don't want to have victory with them. They're not having victory come to the situation because of the mud. There's this decision that they're stuck between, that they're in their head about. Okay, this Virgo has a Knight of Cups energy around you. Like I said, they really, they, they see you as wish fulfillment. They see you like the sun. Because they're in the cloud and you're sunshine and positivity. Some of y'all gonna have to have compassion. Because like I said, you sit in this higher seat. So you can play it out in a way where you can be of some assistance at the distance. All right, it's just like God wanted to make sure before this person comes back in because of the platform you're on now, the level of being you're in and grounded, how grounded you are now. And then you, like you'll be able to handle this person, I feel like. But I don't know, Scorpio. It's up to y'all. 
I know there's been some shifts in the energy. We are going through some retrogrades, so it's August and it's August. It could be some things in the past, but you are definitely shining. You're definitely shining. Okay? For sure. You don't see this person as the sun. You don't see this person as positive. You feel like they bring you bring clouds. <laughs> you feel like they bring clouds. Makes sense to guys. Keep it plain for our Scorpios. Once again, Scorpios, check out my new virtual magazine. Check out my music. If you would like to send a donation, check the description. Check the content below. Follow me on Instagram. All right, I've been making some really funny posts <laughs> about Trump. <laughs> and then I have this one that's like 2,000 views. That is, uh, it's like a, a made, a car. It's really cool. You gotta, you would have to check it out. Remember the Flintstones. One, one more shuffle. And it's just grass. Keep it simple and plain. Once again, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And leave a comment. Whatever they did in the past. They have so, that was self-interest based. Okay. Because we have five of swords, we have strength card, and then we have ten of cups in reverse. They're gonna have the strength to make that. They're gonna have. They're gonna seem like they're gonna build the strength uh, to make a decision. They have to make a decision whenever they get out of this space. Could they still be have? Could they still be self interest based? And be about self. It, yeah. But you have intuition, don't you, Scorpio? Don't you have intuition? Absolutely, absolutely, freaking lutely. Yeah, you do. You know what I'm saying? The waters that the waters that you're vibing in is on a whole nother level. You feel me? This person could be family. Okay. Alright. You could have blocked this person from intimacy with you. Okay. Hmm. But they're definitely going to gain the courage. They want to reach out. They want to fix this family. They want to fix this broken level of intimacy, I guess, they have with you. But balance is not priority for you. But why? You have to have, some of you guys have to ask yourself, well, why is it? Not a priority or do you already know? I'm sure you already know. If you want to drop a comment, let me know. Because some of you guys, if this is like a twin, you know, just be mindful of whether or not you're neglecting your relationship in the process, you know what I'm saying? And whether or not you, because if it's a twin, you really do still love this person. If you're on a twin flame journey, you love this person. Now, do you go through fucked up things on the Twin Flame journey? Absolutely. Whoever thinks you don't go through fucked up things on the Twin Flame journey is fucking insane. It is it is crazy. But hey, I'm still here and I'm still with my twin. So it takes a level of maturity and inner and over. Not not surface understand not surface standing, like inner standing, like a person walk of life and you know, even looking at within yourself as to why you you can't love this person to a level of unconditionality. But I mean, every every situation is different. I mean, uh, I'll just let you know, I'll tell you right now, I've gone, I've been going through it. Like it's, it's been a process and it's always gonna, and it always will be. And so it's, it's about main, maintaining, honestly. I think it's always gonna, it's, it's always gonna be. So we're gonna wrap it up with, Once again, guys, hit that thumbs up. Okay, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Ancestors, let's bring more cards to wrap this up for our Scorpios. Bring more cards to wrap this up for our Scorpios. Shout out to Leo season, especially if you're dealing with a Leo or you're a Leo with some Scorpio placements. You could be a, 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 a Leo sun or a Leo rising. And you got you you your Scorpio sun, 
you know, or, or, or a Scorpio moon and a Leo rising or a Leo sun and a Scorpio moon. It's a lot, it's a lot going on, you know, there's a lot of people, a lot of y'all out there. <laughs> You are safe. I hear you're gonna find your answer in nature. Okay. Divine purpose. Or like I said, I feel like some of y'all, I don't know if I said this in this video, I don't remember, could have been. But, cause I know a lot's going on. But a lot of y'all have been experiencing a lot of those hurricane, hurricane storms. Could be storms going on where you're at. Um, a real cleanse is happening. Uh, you, you know, you, you got yourself safe. You are safe. Um, you're safe from your past. Um, um, you'd be safe in the situation. This was all part of a divine purpose. Give it. If you if, if you want to make an absolute answer, I hear give it to God, but and get your answer. And that's why getting nature would be important. But some of y'all going to get back with this this, this Virgo because we had a strong earth energy. I feel like a strong earth energy will throw fire, you know, or a Leo, you know. They got some explaining to do, though, and I feel like they're going to explain. But either way, just keep living your life. Don't even, like, it's going to just happen. You just got to let life flow. But that's why... These things are so interesting. That's why the energy in the tarot is so interesting because you know you can you can listen to this shit years later or a year later and it resonates more with that situation than it did now. Even though you've probably felt a little resonation even now, it's just crazy around here. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate y'all. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Share this Scorpio. Share this message. Drop a comment. Okay, if you'd like to send a donation, send a dollar. That's in the content description. If you want to follow me on Instagram, that's in the content description. If you want to email me for a personal reading or hit me up on Instagram, come hit me up. You know, I'm down to chat, to talk. Uh, this is just the way it is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just getting real hype. I, I love y'all. All right. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.